Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a little something here, um, sharing my Triumph, the uh, i7-750. Uh, we just hit four gigabytes with it, and it uh, seems to be running pretty solid right now. I'm just going to do a simple super pie here, and uh, we'll see how it performs at this speed. We'll do a one meg calculation. Okay, there we go. 10 seconds, uh, 10.43 seconds. Less than 10 and a half seconds. So we're going to do some stability testing on it, uh, check temperatures and stuff. We're idling about mid-30s right now. We're going to stress test it and uh, see how it holds up at this speed. Hey guys, I got a little uh, update on the uh, overclocking on the uh, Dragon Rider. Um, we did have to back it down a little bit. Unfortunately, the 4.0 gigahertz was uh, just tough to get stable. wasn't worth the additional uh, voltages and heat that we needed to try to stabilize it. So uh, basically, I just backed it down to 3.6. It's actually 3.612 3 right now with a multiplier 21, uh, bus speed 172. Um, this we were able to achieve at just over 1.2 volts. As you can see, it's 1.208 running prime. Uh, our memory is currently running at 688 with a 9, 10, 10, 25 timing. So we've been running prime for about an hour. Uh, max temperatures we've seen are 55, 55, 53, and 55. So not bad at all uh, for max temperatures at 3.6 gigahertz. It's a nice uh, overclock of about a gigahertz and uh, we're able to do it at uh, less than stock voltage. I think the default voltage on this processor is 1.25 and we're running at 1.208 so it's actually under bolted a little bit and we're still able to achieve a gigabyte uh, worth of overclock. So just wanted to update you on that. Uh, if I have any new developments, if I'm able to uh, get a better cooler and maybe try to get 4.0 stabilized, I'll let you know. But for right now, we're just going to run it at 3.6 because the uh, performance difference uh, going up from here is very minimal. But the amount of voltage and heat is uh, quite extreme to go past 3.6 unless we uh, switch this one over to water cooling. So that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching.